Let's talk about dusting. There is damp dusting and dry dusting. Which one is your go-to? As with many things in life, there are pros and cons to both options, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the damp dusting. Now, this is a go-to for a lot of folks. A lot of people really prefer this method. If you have allergies, um, you know, if the dust uh, aggravates your asthma or something like that, a damp uh, dusting approach is probably the right option for you because it really does help eliminate the dust that goes into the air. Now, that being said, using a dry cloth, if you do it right, you don't have to go tossing dust all over the place. The dry dusting approach is my go-to, so I prefer this because in my opinion, I feel like you get more work done when you're using a dry microfiber cloth. Now, the biggest thing that people focus on is when they see you using a dry uh, cloth to dust, they fear that you're throwing a lot of dust around. That may be the case when you're using a traditional cotton cloth. So when you use a traditional cotton cloth that is damp versus dry, the damp one will dust better. That is correct. Now, when you're using a microfiber cloth, however, if this is completely dry and you're using the proper technique, there is no way that you're tossing a bunch of dust all over the place. These things are designed to trap the dust in there. So my go-to is using a dry cloth like this, a microfiber cloth, to properly dust and then take a damp cloth to touch up and then the washing can actually begin. All right, so we talked about it. We have damp dusting and we have dry dusting. Which one is your go-to? Let us know in the comments below.